Hey guys, Joe Burnett here with Big West Marketing. And what I wanna to talk to you guys today about is the best contractor advertising online, on the internet. So you own a contracting business and you want to advertise online, but you don't really know where to put your time, your money. So we're gonna talk about the top three ways, okay? The top three ways to advertise online. And then I'm going to tell you where you should not put your time, money, and energy because I know there are so many options out there. You guys are probably overwhelmed, maybe a little, maybe a little bit confused. You wanna know where you can get the most bang for your buck. So let's start right now. Okay, so I got a little document here, best contractor advertising online, but what I wanna do is I wanna talk about the top three, but I wanna talk about the pros and cons for each one so you can make the best decision for your business, especially going into the new year here. So let's see, let me, uh, let me grab here, let me grab my notes, all right. So definitely the number one way to advertise online is going to be with Google, and the reason is is because people are actively searching out your services, okay? If you're doing any other kind of advertising, whether it be banner ads, Facebook ads, any other type of advertising online, you're basically just a billboard hoping that you hit them at the exact right time that they're ready to go. The deal with Google is they are ready to go. It filters all that out, and most people that are searching for you know, contractors in your city, re uh, construction services, remodeling, whatever your service is that you offer, if people are searching that and you're showing up on Google, then the chances of them actually, you know, hiring you are like 10 times. So I'm gonna say Google's number one. Now there's two two ways you can advertise on Google. And the first one we're gonna talk about is SEO. So let's let's type that in there. SEO, search engine optimization. All that means is, let me grab Google here real quick. Let me grab my Google window. All that means is if someone's on Google, this is SEO. So don't don't overcomplicate this if you're not familiar with it. Uh, if someone's in, like I'm, I'm in Missoula, Montana, that's where I'm located. That's where my business is located. So if someone types in remodeling Missoula, uh, our client here, expert remodeling, you can see he comes up in the top three. If we type in like kitchen remodeling Missoula, he comes up number one. This down here is the SEO. This is what I'm gonna talk about in part number one. Ranking right here, where you see the little map show up, you see reviews show up, and you see the three, the top three, what Google thinks are the top three remodelers in that city. So if you can get in there, your phone is gonna ring off the hook, I'm gonna tell you that right now. And the bigger your city is, the, the, the more it's going to ring. Okay, so that being said, um, actually, I want to talk about something real quick. I, I mentioned reviews here. Having reviews, having the most reviews in your in in what, when you get into this little pack here, we're going to talk about how to do that. Uh, is going to get you the most phone calls as well. So even though this guy down here is is third place, he's got 19 reviews. Okay, the guys in first and second have six and seven reviews. This guy's got 19 reviews. He's probably gonna get more calls than anybody else. And, there, and the conversation that he's gonna have, assuming he knows how to you know, talk on the phone effectively and has a good sales strategy once he does pick up the phone or the, the person who picks up the phone anyway, uh, assuming all that's taken care of, this right here, this conversation is going to go much smoother because he's he got he has a ton of trust. Okay, he's got reviews, 19 five star reviews. Do you ever consult Amazon or Google or any other or Yelp or any other uh, reviews before making a purchase? Of course you do. We all do. Okay, they're doing that for your business as well, especially in the contractor construction space. Okay. So keep that in mind because they, they don't know who to trust. You're coming into their home. They're going to be spending a significant amount of money with you. They want somebody they can trust, okay? And if they're finding you on Google, they're going to go to the person who has the most reviews and that person's probably going to get the job. If they call all three of them, that person, assuming they have good skills on the phone, is going to get that job because of the reviews. All right, so it's SEO plus reviews. So ranking on Google plus reviews is the number one. Now, I told you I was going to talk about the pros and cons of each one of these. So let's talk about the pros and cons of SEO. So the pros are 
is that you were going to get the most amount of calls possible. It is the number one way to get calls and to, to build trust and get, get good high paying clients as well. Okay. Uh, another one is it's the, it's the least expensive amount. Now, this varies from uh, company to company and from depending on how uh, competitive it is. And there are SEO companies out there that will charge you an arm and a leg. I don't believe in that. I don't believe it takes an arm and a leg to get you up ranked to the top of Google for you know your search terms. Um, but uh, but it, so what I can say, what I'm saying when I say least expensive is it can be the least, most least expensive. And once you get up there, you usually stay up there. Uh, for a long time assuming you're you're doing all the right stuff you're not trying to trick google okay and you can even do it for free i'll even give you a way to do this for free yourself if that if you're a do-it-yourself type of person i'm going to give you at the end of this video i'm going to give you a resource that's going to allow you to do that for free all right now those are the pros what about the cons it is very um long term this is a long term strategy so for whoop Four to eight months typically is what it takes. But like I said, once you get up there, the phone rings off the hook, okay? So this, like I said, long-term, that's one of the drawbacks. A lot of guys don't like that. They want stuff now, and I get it. I get you. Okay, number two, what's, what? okay. So that's SEO. Now, let's talk about the, the second best way to get uh, jobs from Google or another way to get jobs by advertising online from Google. And that's with the Google AdWords. So let's pull Google up again and go back to our example. These two guys at the top here, and these actually aren't even local companies. They're big, big ones. But uh, uh, what that is, is uh, a pay-per-click. Okay, it's, it is paid online advertising. If I click on this right now, it's probably going to cost them 10 to $20, okay? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to, I don't like to chart, get, just waste people's money. Um, but let's take a, uh, let's take another city. Let's take a bigger city like, uh, like Dallas, Texas and see what kind of ads pop up there. Okay. So now we're getting kitchen design concepts. We're getting, yeah, a, a specific Dallas company. Usually four of them pop up here. Once in a while, you'll see one pop in the, the map section here. And it'll say, the way you know is it'll say ad next to it. Okay. That's how you know. So paid advertising on Google or pay-per-click uh, is another one. Another one that's coming up big time. Uh, it hasn't hit across the in every industry, but if you do like plumbers in San Diego, it's right now it's for uh, plumbers and a few other service industries in big cities, uh, West Coast and East Coast. Um, I know that it shows up in San Diego. There's also this new one here. These are also paid ads. You pay per lead on these ones. Down here, you pay per click. Right here, you pay per lead. Uh, I'm not going to get into all the details about these, but I do want to say that this is very effective, especially if someone's searching on a smartphone because they have to scroll so far down to find this now that only this is only getting about 50%, 60% of the clicks. These ones up here are getting 50%, 40% of the clicks. So very effective. In the past, it wasn't as effective. I would only say 15 to 20% of the people were clicking on these. Now I'm saying 40 to 50% based on new data that's come out lately. So very profitable. Um, and so let's put that in there. AdWords or pay-per-click. Some people call it PPC, but That's what we're talking about now. Oh, AdWords, Google AdWords. Make sure we talk about Google. These first two are gonna be Google. Okay, Google SEO or Google AdWords. Now, what I wanna do is talk about the pros and cons once again. So, pros of doing pay-per-click Google AdWords, okay? It's fast, okay? You can get it up like within the next day. If you set this up today, you can be up and running, have ads showing the very next day, all right? so. Uh, that's, that's positive too. Another thing I like about it is you can do it in any city. It doesn't matter where you're located. And I forgot to mention one of the, one of the cons for SEO is you can only rank in the city you're physically located in. I know SEO companies will tell you what you want to hear to get your money. They'll tell you, yeah, you can rank in any city you want. No, you cannot. Not enough to get phone calls coming in. Okay. 
Uh, you can rank in one city, the city that you have a physical address in with SEO. But with AdWords, you can rank in any city. So if you want to cover 15 different suburbs plus the main city, you can do that with Google AdWords. Okay, so that's a pro. All right. Now let's talk about uh, the cons. Uh, it's very expensive. Okay, like I said, it can cost you know 20, 30, depending on how what keywords you're going for, what search terms you're going for. It's based on an auction system, so the more competition there is, the higher the price is going to be for each click that you get on those ads. Okay, and yes, your competition can click on your ads. Google will filter them out eventually, but in the beginning, you're going to be paying for your competition to click on those ads. You're going to be paying every time somebody clicks on that ad and is not interested. So you got to understand that you're going to be putting a lot of money up front. Hopefully you're a good salesperson. You can pick up the phone every time it rings and then you can get out there and, and provide value to the, the prospect, to the, to the lead and then hopefully get the job. Okay. So, and that's all about sales, but this is not about sales. That's, that's up to you. Um, and there's lots of good programs for sales. I'm talking about purely just the best contractor advertising online. All right. So those are the pros and cons of Google AdWords. Now, the third one is Facebook. Okay. You can advertise. Oops. You can actually advertise on Facebook. You can pay Facebook to serve ads to people that you want to see them. Okay. So it's, uh, it can be effective depending on your situation. And there are def definitely people that should do it and people that should not do it. Okay. So let's talk about Facebook ads. It's definitely not my favorite way to go. Um, but like I said, it can be effective. It, it's definitely down on the list at number three. All right. So let's talk about the pros of Facebook ads. Number one, you can target exactly who you want to uh, see the ads. So you can have, um, for example, people that make over $200,000 a year, okay, that are homeowners that live in your city. Okay, you can be very specific about that. You cannot do that with Google. Facebook, you can, because they have all this data. You can be, choose people by age. So if people have, um, you know, people that are 35 years old that have kids, you can do that as well. So if you only want to, you know, target families. Um, you can target new homeowners. There's a lots of different options within Facebook to do this. So targeting is very positive. Now, um, let's see another pro for Facebook. Oh, it's great for follow-up. So one thing you can do is uh, you, you, what are called retargeting ads. And I get into this a lot more in other videos of mine. But retargeting ads are, and I know you guys have seen these before where you hit somebody's website or you're researching something, all of a sudden you start seeing these ads all over Facebook. They follow you around everywhere. You see them over and over and over, okay? So when you, you can set that up for yourself as well. It's called retargeting ads. You can research it. You can hire somebody like us to do it for you, whatever you want to do. Um, but retargeting ads on Facebook are very, it can be the most effective way because they're seeing you over and over and over. And if you're in the type of business where you're home building or remodeling, something like that, people are going to spend, you know, 90 days before they really make a decision or before they even pick up the phone and talk to people. And if you're in their face over and over, let's say 10 times over the next two months, you're definitely going to be get one of the people that's going to be getting a phone call from them. So it's for, it's for those long-term services, the quick, fast services, not that effective. The long term where they got to think about it for a while, very effective. Okay. So that's retargeting for Facebook. Now, the issue with uh, Facebook, so, so those are the pros of Facebook. Okay. So, and, it, and it's not that expensive. That's another pro is it's, it's uh, affordable, low cost, if you do it right. Now let's talk about doing it right. So those are, those are the pros. Let's talk about the cons of Facebook ads. So with Facebook ads, what you're going to, have to do is you're going to have to put in a lot of time and create night, you know, personal content. What do I mean by personal content? When people are on Facebook, they want to see stuff about you, about your business, about your work. Um, they don't want to just see, you know, hey, we, you know, do construction, call us. No, that you got to be very strategic. You got to have lots of pictures. Facebook is very visual. They want to see lots of beautiful pictures, even, you know, in like, you know, step-by-step -step pictures, 
tips, ideas. They want remodeling ideas, home ideas, stuff like that. That's where you're really going to get people. If you're putting up generic stuff, it's not going to work very well on Facebook. Facebook is all about people. It's all about connecting and it's all about providing um, value and like cool stuff. So if you're not into Facebook, then this may not be an option for you. If you don't like Facebook, if it's not something that, that you find fun and interesting, then you might not do it. Now, if you have somebody in your office or somebody on your team that is creative and is can you know go take lots of pictures and they can tell a story online, then Facebook ads may be an option for you, okay? But if you're not that person, then Facebook ads may not be an option. So that's a con. You gotta, you gotta have personal content, you gotta be creative, and you gotta spend a significant amount of time doing it. And a lot of us don't have time to do that kind of stuff. All right. So that's the, that's the main con. I mean, that's, that's it. Um, that's really the only con with Facebook. And then it's just, it's just not as effective because people aren't actively searching you out. So I'm going to put people are not in buying mode. That's another, that's another con. Okay. All right. So three things we talked about. Let's review real quick. Three ways to add the best, the best three ways to advertise, uh, online for contractors is number one, Google SEO, number two, Google AdWords, and then number three, Facebook ads, Facebook advertising, paid ads on Facebook. Okay. Now, I also told you I was going to tell you what you should not put time and money into as far as online advertising. Uh, there's a million things you can spend money on. I'm sure you get calls every day. I'm sure you get uh, inundated with in, by email and all these amazing ways that you can get thousands of clients and leads and with the click of a button. No, that's not the case. So I don't recommend any of this stuff. I recommend you don't do Snapchat. You don't do Instagram. You don't do Twitter. You don't do any other social media besides Facebook and only do Facebook is if you're well prepared and you have the mindset to put in time on making it personal and making it creative. Okay, uh, LinkedIn. I haven't never. I haven't seen anybody really get any traction with LinkedIn. Uh, I'm, I'm. I'm not saying you can't, but for the time and money that you put into online advertising, these are the top three. I would ignore the rest. Okay. Now, if that changes and something amazing comes along, then then we'll talk. Now, there are other like lead generation type services like Home Advisor and Angie's List. Maybe you use those, and uh, and they've worked for you. And you've, you've paid them and it's worked for you. Yelp has their online advertising as well. Um, now, my recommendation is if you're going to try all these little ones like that is uh, you just basically uh, put set aside a certain amount of budget, do it for at least 90 days. And if you're not getting any results and if you're not getting the, the, the quality of clients you want, then go back to the bread and butter, go back to Google and Facebook. Now, this is these are services that we provide for this industry. If you're interested, um, and I also told you I was gonna I was gonna tell you how to do some s. If you wanna if you're a do it yourself and you wanna do this kind of stuff, uh, all you know on your own, I do have a book called The Service Business Money Machine. Okay, and it's actually free. I'm offering it free right now. Just go to servicebusinessmoneymachine.com or click on the link at the end of this video, and uh, and basically you just pay the shipping. Pay six ninety five shipping. I'll pay the printing and uh, this book is yours for free. Okay. And it's all the stuff we talked about in detail with screenshots, 150 pages, and it's got uh, basically step by step in plain English, not a lot of tech talk in this. Uh, and then, um, of course, you can always give us a call if you have any questions or if you'd like a strategy session, it's 406 493 1881. Once again, my name is Joe Burnich with Big West Marketing. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope it weeded out a lot of the stuff you're probably struggling with and gave you something to really sink your teeth into. So thanks for watching. My name is Joe. Talk to you soon.